Hello, I'm Nikki McCarthy and welcome to episode two of The Great Australian Dream. In this episode, our cameras follow Frank into the record-breaking final of The Block. Cameron goes on site to share handy advice on how to get a renovation started. Our economist, Andrew Wilson, explains what current low interest rates means for home buyers. Whilst Cara shares some helpful hints to add style to your home without spending a fortune. And Ram's own Matt Clark helps us understand the importance of getting the right home loan for you. And stay tuned for your chance to win $10,000 into a Ram Saver account to help you realise your own great Australian dream. It's been the most successful series of the block yet, with all the reserve prices smashed at auction. With demand so strong, our very own Frank Valentic had to be on his toes. So let's go behind the scenes and see what happened. Well, it's auction day on the block and I'm feeling pumped. Uh, we're bidding on all four properties for a combination of investors and own occupiers. So wish me luck. Welcome to uh, the sale of this magnificent property. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Stuart Benson's my name. I will be your auctioneer here this evening. Well, what I usually like to do at the start of an auction is let someone else make the first opening bid. Um, I like to uh, feel out the competition. It's like a bit of a boxing match. Your hands now for an opening bidder. Offer the bid is right here at the front of the bid is. The bid is 1.7. What I usually like to do is do a fairly big up bid from there. Nine. Two million. Two million. Make it three million. <laughs> <laughs> You know, the auctioneer might call for a $20,000 rise and I might increase it by 100000 Hopefully have the room go, ah, jeez, if he's bid that hard, where's he going to end up? 1.7. Not on the market yet? Uh, we are, actually. 2 million and 50. It's no use dragging it out and dripping it along because you're really giving the other buyers a chance to bid. And sometimes you, you can push your budget a bit more uh, and you know you can afford it, but you've got to also know when to walk away. Frank, was your bid, was your bid, was your bid? I've got to give it to my mate over there. There you go, Nicole, it's all yours. Do I hear any bidder offer? It's with you, Frank, and your buyer at the back. Two million and 50. Frank, you've got it at two million. We are selling 40% median house price growth. First call, second call, third call. <laughs> Property is about emotion. You know, you, we're spending hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars in this instance. If you are bidding an auction, whether it's at the block or anywhere else, Get someone else to bid for you. Take that emotion away. I'll take 10 for help. Five. Okay. 220. First, second, third before we go, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to South Yarra. We are selling, selling, sold. Yes. We stuck to our budgets and we didn't get carried away with the emotion of the auction. We had clear instructions and it just shows the Melbourne marketplace at the moment is very consistent with what we're seeing at good quality properties uh, where we're seeing five to six bidders and reserves being smashed by hundreds of thousands, as it is tonight. So I'm sure there's some celebrations downstairs. So your home's in need of a makeover or more space for a growing family? Cameron Fraser explains how to get your renovation started. Building and renovating is a really exciting time. It's a way to extend your home and get the dream home you've always wanted. Today, we're going to meet a builder who'll take us through what's involved and we'll get some tips and tricks to help make the process a smooth one. So Matt, can you give us a tour of this house under construction? Yeah, sure. We, uh, we find we get a lot of interest from the market to have the master bedroom on the ground floor. It tends to be very popular with an ageing demographic around this area. Another trend we get a lot of interest for is a butler's pantry off to the side there, which is a new feature that we're seeing pop up in a lot of houses now. We always like to incorporate some big bifold doors to really open the house up to the alfresco area. Where do I start if I want to renovate my house or build a house? Most important thing to get right from the outset is, is having good design. And that usually involves getting an architect involved. That's really important to get, uh, get a good flow through the house. So if I find a builder I think I might use, should I do some checks? Are there things I should make sure the builder's got? 
First of all, it's always good to check that they're licensed and mm -hmm. do that with the, uh, the relevant building authorities. You know, ask them for a, a list of recent projects um, that they've completed. Actually spend some time and drive around and have a look at those. It's a big investment. If you can, just go and speak to the owners of the other projects that they've finished recently and find out how the process was with the builder. How do I budget for my renovation? How do I know how much I might need to spend or I should spend? Well, I guess your budget's always going to vary on, on what you're building. You know, a kitchen, for example, like we have here, they can start from anywhere from you know, 15000 to, to $30,000 depending on the level of appointment. You can imagine a couple, they're sitting in their small house and they're thinking we really need to add on, how much should we spend? And if they're thinking I want to add on 100 square metres. Again, quality will affect that price range. It could range anywhere from sort of $1,600 a square metre up to anywhere up to $2,000 a square metre depending on your quality. How long should I allow for the building process and to get all those permits and all that sort of activity? You may have to allow several months. And then the actual building stage obviously depends on the size of what you're constructing as well. So what are your top tips, Matt, for undertaking a building program? Get a good design, engage some professionals to, to assist you with that. Yes. And then really do some research in, uh, into the selection of your builder and the professionals you, you're using to help you along the way. So there you have it. Building can be an exciting time, but do your planning and do your research and enjoy the journey to your dream home. I'll see you next time. Australia currently has the lowest interest rates in living memory. Not since the 50s and 60s have we seen interest rates this low. And of course the Reserve Bank has cut interest rates in recent years to stimulate our economy given the mining boom has started to fade. Lower interest rates of course activate housing markets, improve affordability and no surprise that we've seen strong growth as a result of those low interest rates. Well I think we're in for a long period of low and steady interest rate policy until our economy starts to pick up. Clearly the Sydney market is ahead of the rest in terms of house price growth since we've seen that sharp cut in interest rates three years ago. Sydney house prices are growing at the fastest rate since the early 2000s and into the third year of boom time conditions. The difference between the Sydney market, of course, and those other capital city markets is strong investor activity pushing up prices in the budget market. A shortage of property uh, and, of course, a rising population and a strong local economy continues to have Sydney leading the pack in terms of housing market activity nationally. To help realise your property dream, my mates at Rams are giving away 10 grand to one lucky winner. Subscribe now for your chance to win. Adding a designer's edge to your home doesn't need to cost the earth. Cara takes us to one of her favourite stores to show how you can make a statement in style. Home decorations can give a room a fresh new look without having to spend a fortune. You just need to know what to choose. Today I'm here at one of my favourite homeware stores to find some inspiration for your home. Rugs are a great way for a space to feel warm and inviting. Start with a neutral base and work up from there. Katrina, tell me about your store. Drift is about everything that I love. Lots of natural pieces, lots of organic pieces. There's locally made furniture and artwork. There's pieces from China, Africa, India. I look around and I see a lot of different textures. There is, and that's, what's, that's what I think gives a home personality and gives a home style. Cushions are a really cheap and effective way to lift a room. I like this one because it's reversible and you get two different looks for the one price. What's one of your favourite pieces in the store at the moment? At the moment it would have to be the big cuttlefish necklaces. They're gorgeous, they're all handmade in Sydney. They add that texture and that organic feel um, to a wall and a space. Yes, I think I want one. <laughs> a home obviously has to look good, but it also has to smell good too. And candles are the perfect finishing touch. So there's plenty you can do to freshen up your home on a budget and I've got everything I need today.
It is very important to get the, the loan right. Everybody's situation is different and, and their plans are different. Some people are, are buying a house and, and they're going to be there forever. Others it's an investment or it's a stepping stone to something else. There are a number of options available with, with fixed loan, value advantage packages, often basic type loans as well. You don't want to get yourself in a situation though where you're either paying for things you're not going to use or conversely you've locked yourself out of certain features that you do need. Um, and whilst it may seem cheaper at the time, it'll end up costing you more in the long run. There are a lot of different speculations as to where rates are going. Six months ago they were going up, now they're going down. And the fixed rates are at record lows. No problem in, in locking something in. I think at this stage of the rate cycle though, with almost every product under 5%, um, you can't really go wrong. Thanks for watching. I hope we've got you thinking about your own property journey. Be watching next time as we bring you our special first home buyers edition, packed with useful information to get you on the property ladder and into your first home sooner. And don't forget, purchasing real estate is an important decision and you should seek expert advice to make sure your purchase meets your personal circumstances and affordability. Thanks for watching. The team and I look forward to seeing you next time on The Great Australian Dream.